Hi everyone, my name is Grant K, and welcome to my blog. I've been receiving lots of emails from everyone asking about finishing in Autodesk Smoke using projects that have been edited in Adobe Premiere Pro. So since you've asked for it, you've now got it. As usual, let's start off in Adobe Premiere Pro and have a look at what preparations need to be made in order to successfully conform in Autodesk Smoke. When creating a project in Adobe Premiere Pro, you need to take note of the formatting that you're working with. If you're using the same media between Adobe Premiere Pro and Autodesk Smoke, the project settings need to match for an easy conform. If you're using a standard definition resolution for the offline and a high definition resolution for the online, this is not a problem between the applications because Smoke can reformat the resolution when doing the online conform. For the purposes of this example, I will be creating a full HD project at 23976. Remember this configuration as you will use the exact same values when setting up a Smoke project. Adobe Premiere Pro works with a range of native file formats similar to that of Autodesk Smoke. The timeline currently displayed is using QuickTime Media. In my project window, this sequence is labeled as My Edit. With the sequence selected, go to the toolbar at the top of the interface and choose the file menu. In the pop-up, you will see Export. This leads to a sub-menu full of export options. Just like Final Cut Pro 7 or Avid Media Composer, Adobe Premiere Pro offers a variety of options to export timelines for conforming. You can use an EDL for a basic conform or export an AAF if you want to rebuild a multi-layered timeline, use the original media or translate basic effects information. Now go ahead and choose the AAF option. It's a good idea to navigate close to the Media Files folder and place the AAF in the same folder as the media, or you could place the AAF in the folder above. The reason is, is that when Smoke conforms the timeline, it will search through the folders depending on its location. Click the Save button and you will be presented with the AAF export settings. Ensure that Save as Legacy AAF and Embed Audio are disabled. Press OK and the AAF will be exported. So, exporting an AAF from Adobe Premiere Pro is a straightforward process and this can then be imported into Autodesk Smoke. Let's check out what now needs to be done in Smoke to rebuild the timeline and link to its original media. Remember what I said earlier, when creating a project in Smoke, it's always a good idea to match the project's resolutions if possible. So this project will be a full 1080 HD project running at 23976 frames per second with a color bit depth of 10 bit. Starting in Smoke, you are always brought to the creative desktop level. However, all your media management tasks are always performed at a database level or what we like to call the clip library. To enter into the clip library, you will see a blue button to the left of the interface labeled Default Clip Library. You can have multiple clip libraries per project if you wish by clicking on the New button. To go into the clip library, simply click the Open button. So here we have an empty clip library, or bin if you wish to call it that, and this is where we will do the conform. Firstly, we need to browse to the AAF and its media on the drives. Smoke has its own built-in equivalent of the Apple Finder that is called the Gateway. We will split the screen in half by enabling the dual view split at the top left hand side of the interface. This means you can browse your network as well as look at a database at the same time. Using the blue pop-up button, you can open the menu and choose the forward slash volumes folder on your Mac. This will show all the drives 
and all the network locations on the system. Now you can simply expand the folders and get to the AAF and its associated media files. Expanding the media folder reveals the QuickTime media that will be used for the conform. You don't have to have the media exposed all the time, so you can close the folder by clicking on the triangle to the left of the folder. Now let's conform the My Edit sequence. Double click on the AAF to select it and bring up the AAF settings at the bottom of the interface. For extra information, you can swipe to the right of the interface to bring up the preview window. This will show the various details embedded in the AAF including the origination of the AAF file. You can swipe to the right again to hide the preview window. The metadata options at the bottom of the interface lets you give this timeline a different name when conformed but it also allows you to change the resolution of the timeline. This is very useful if you have offline at standard definition and you wish to conform a high definition timeline to high definition sources. In this case, the clip resolution is consistent between Adobe Premiere Pro and Autodesk Smoke, so I will choose the resolution from the file. In the media options, we will set the search criteria for the media that the timeline will link to. Because the AAF was linking to the sequence with the original media files, we can tell Smoke to search for the media based on the original file names. To conform the timeline, drag and drop the AAF from the gateway window into the clip library and Autodesk Smoke will do the rest. And that's it! Job done! I can select this clip and load it to the desktop. Expanding the timeline shows that the edit is the same and the metadata is pointing to the QuickTime media. For more detail on the media, hold down the ALT button and click on any of the clips and when you hover, it will reveal the file path information as well. The conform is now complete and you can begin onlining and finishing your production in Autodesk Smoke. Please consult the Autodesk Wiki database to see what is supported when conforming an Adobe Premiere Pro AAF in Autodesk Smoke. Smoke also has more advanced tools to deal with the more challenging conforms and if you need any further assistance, please feel free to visit the Autodesk area forums. For more information about Autodesk Smoke or to download a free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.